All right, well, I cannot be bothered too much with the, how I look and the lighting. So we're just gonna go with this. Hello and welcome back to my channel, long time no see. My name is Katie and welcome to Katie Does Travel. I am a solo female backpacker in my 30s and I'm also a little bit more on the introverted side and I just came back, if you can't tell by the bags under my eyes, but I just came back from my sixth backpacking trip, second this year and fourth in Europe. I just came back a few days ago and I'm actually about to head out on another trip. It's a very short trip, but before I do that, I wanted to sit down and show you what I packed for about two months in Europe. And I guess you can kind of say it was in the fall slash autumn time period. So if you're headed to Europe around this time, whether it's now or in the future, I hope this video helps you. So stick around and we'll get into it. Before we get into the video, I just want to remind you if you're not subscribed, yet to please hit that subscribe button down below. You can also hit that bell notification to be notified when I post new videos. It is free to do and I try to post at least once a week when I'm not traveling. Um, I might be posting a little bit more as I try to crank out all the travel vlogs I have from my most recent trip. You can also follow my travels in real time on my social media channels that are here and just know that I have a lot of fun and exciting things in the works coming out next year, hopefully in the beginning of next year. But I wanted to get this video recorded and out before I start showing the vlog. So yeah, let's just, let's dive in. The stuff I packed for this trip is kind of similar to what I packed for Australia. If you don't know, I was in Australia early this year, which was also technically their autumn because they're in the Southern Hemisphere. So honestly, a lot of the stuff is pretty similar. You can watch that video. I will link it somewhere. But if you want to see some modifications I made and just kind of my insights, my thoughts into what I brought that was good and bad, um, definitely stick around because there are some things that I packed. I would say I was about 90% happy with what I packed on this trip but there were some things I wish I had packed or I wish I had not packed. So uh, yeah, and this video is just gonna be kind of like quick, quick, quick because I have a lot to do. Cause like I said, I leave for another trip in about 24 hours. So I have a lot to do before then. So without further ado, now let's get into it. Okay, so everything is kind of in Tupperware containers or like big storage containers. Um, as soon as I got home, I threw everything into the garage and then the next day I pretty much washed everything I could because if you haven't heard about the bed bug crisis in Paris, then uh, yeah, I, I was a little paranoid. I don't think I brought back bed bugs. I never really got bit by anything. So I'm not super concerned, but I just wanted to err on the side of caution. So things have been washed or are currently in isolation, but everything's kind of in Tupperware or big Rubbermaid, there we go, Rubbermaid containers uh, for this video. So what I'm going to start with first is actually my crossbody bag or my like, like, yeah, my crossbody, my, my crossbody, let me show you. So I'm gonna show you what was in this bag. So I brought this on my Australia trip, very basic belt bag, whatever you want to call it. I got it off of Amazon. Um, I'm actually probably going to be bringing this on my next trip. So I'm actually going to throw this to the side, but I will link as much as I can down below if you want to purchase. But yeah, I had this just from Amazon. We're going to throw that over there. This is the container, so we're just going to put it here. But um, I had some Lysol wipes. Um, not these. These are actually for my next trip but I did have some Lysol wipes or disinfecting wipes, detrol wipes, wherever you get them. But I had those, I'm gonna throw that over there because that's the stuff I'm gonna be bringing, so. Um, I also had some disposable toilet seat covers. Um, these, I actually put them in my main bag, but I did have a little pack that I would put in my little belt bag too. So I have these, got those on Amazon. I also bought some in the Netherlands. So, put that over there. 
Um, also my wallet with various cash and cards. I also had this. This was like my extra credit card and extra m money or currency that I was no longer using, like my euros are in there, my pounds, my Polish Zolti, some USD, etc. Um, plastic bag for toiletries, for airport security. I had like my inhaler, um, some, actually a lot of lip products for keeping my lips hydrated. Uh, some medicine, this is not the only ones, but this is like your basic, like Tylenol, ibuprofen, uh, etc. Imodium, it's all in there just for ease of use. So I had my corded headphones for my iPad, my iPhone. Uh, I also had my AirPods and I had a pen. I actually bought this uh, somewhere, but I had a pen. Not always that pen on the entire trip, but I had it. I had a water bottle. This is my Grail one. Didn't really need it for this trip, but I didn't feel like buying another water bottle, so we had that. I had some necklaces that I wear when I travel. I had some earbuds for snorers. <laughs> uh, my I bought a, bought this for this trip. It's actually a new one, but. It's an uh, external battery for my phone to charge. And I usually also have the phone cord as well with it, but definitely this was a must, must need. Randomly I have a wooden spoon, but that's from the last flight. I had a few of these like floss pick things. I don't normally use them, but they're handy when you travel just to throw in your bag. And I have my COVID card, never needed that. I had my passport, I did need this. And just some sunglasses and a mirror. And that was pretty much what consistently stayed in that bag. So the next bag I had, I don't have it here because it's in isolation right now, but it was, I'll put a photo of it somewhere on the screen here, but it's my electronics bag. I brought this for the first time to Australia and it's been really good just to have for, well, my more expensive items, my electronics, when I'm transiting. And actually I use that backpack a lot uh, for my everyday daily ex exploration because the zipper's actually on the back, so you can't really get into it. Uh, so it's pretty pickpocket uh, proof. So, but what I had in that bag though, when I would go from place to place, first is this mini foam roller. Brought this to Australia. I debated bringing it this time. I did bring it. I don't know if I'd bring it on the next trip. I haven't decided yet because when I used it, I was happy I had it, but it's really difficult to foam roll like in a hostel because it just feels awkward, but I don't know. But mini foam roller. And if you don't know, it's because I'm very injury prone. I had a pretty bad foot injury last year. So we try to do good by our body. The next is my laptop. My laptop's not in here right now. But I had my laptop, my external hard drive, which I actually ended up filling up, so I had to buy a new one. Uh, and then obviously the cord to power the laptop. So that's what lived in here. I also had my noise canceling headphones. I didn't use this as much as I thought. I really used it mainly on the planes. I'm still happy to have it. I'm not sure, I'm not gonna bring it on my next trip here coming up, but um, yeah, it's one of those things like the case is pretty big. So it is kind of a commitment to bring, but I am happy I have them when I have them. But they are kind of a pain in the butt when you have to just, you're not really using them, you have to transport them. But for, I don't know if I've ever mentioned, but these are the bows. I don't remember, but they're these. So I'll put on the screen what they are, but yeah, I do, I do really like them. They were a Christmas gift last year, but you do have to commit to carrying them around. Then in here, which has seen better days, I'm honestly probably gonna be throwing this away, but this was my electronics cord bag. In the past, you might've seen that I basically would put all my cords into a packing cube and it was chaos. And while it was great for packing purposes, it was not great for organization purposes. And this actually worked pretty well other than the fact that it broke. It was already broken before my trip and it just 
continue to break so i'm definitely going to get something similar hopefully a little bit more durable but i'll put on the screen all my electronics and cords and such here that lives in this but this was definitely a good thing to have i borrowed it from my dad and well now we're throwing it away <laughs> the the bag not the cords obviously flipped onto my bag i had this um grocery grocery bag um it actually developed a whole so I'll have to fix that, see if we can fix it. Otherwise, I might have to buy a new one because I've already tried to fix this a few times. But it is definitely handy to have. And I just used some carabiners just to clip it to the side of my bag. I also had my Kindle. I reread the Diary of Anne Frank on this trip, um, mainly because I was going to Amsterdam and going to the Anne Frank house. And I really wanted to reread. I haven't read it since high school or maybe middle school. And so, yeah, I got it from the library and I had it on here. I think I'm gonna bring this to my next trip because I just got the Britney Spears uh, biography or autobiography that I wanna read. So I'm gonna put it on here. So that's my Kindle. And don't ask me what version of the Kindle. It's very, very old. So uh, it's a very old, old, old Kindle. And then in here, this is where I put my, my main camera, which I'm recording on right now. It's a Lumex. G9, um, yeah. And then I also had a, I didn't lose it this time. Um, last time when I was in Australia, I did lose this. This is actually my second one, but it's a little tripod slash like selfie stick thingy. So definitely was handy. It also comes with a Bluetooth remote, which is really nice because you can put your phone on it, your phone on it and then you can take photos. So that was really handy. Uh, I also brought my GoPro, which I was only gonna use once when I went hiking, but I actually ended up using it one day at Oktoberfest, which was great because my phone broke. You'll see that in the vlog, but I was very happy that I had this uh, because I ended up using it more than I thought. Not as much as I did in Australia, but I'm very happy to have it. I also had an extra battery. Um, and this also would go on to this and then you could put the GoPro on. So this is just a little adapter. This is the one of the plug chargers for the Lumex. And yeah, otherwise, you know, I had like all the, the chargers for the Lumex, an extra battery for the Lumex, uh, you know, your standard SD cards and all that. So that's what lived in there and I think that was pretty much it for the electronics bag uh, so now we will get into the main bag which is mostly my clothing but I will show you that and yeah in like two seconds so my main bag once again was the Osprey Porter 46 liter I'll put a picture of it because uh, it's also in isolation and quarantine whatever you want to say but I brought this on many trips before. I have a love-hate relationship with this backpack. I may be upgrading to a slightly larger one, but we'll see. Um, it's just, I can get everything in it and it technically is carry-on size, but it it's kind of a pain to pack. I'm not gonna, not gonna lie. But some of the stuff I brought. So I'm gonna start with shoes. So the first are my everyday walking shoes. They were the Hoka Bondi's in, the, in a gray color. Uh, put a photo of them somewhere on here. I don't have them in the room with me, but they were my everyday shoes. Those were like the shoes that I used every day. <laughs> and then I also had a second pair of Bondi's. These were my running shoes. They are kind of disgusting because mud, but this is also the Hoka Bondi, uh, Bondi 8, I think, in orange, or they once were orange. Um, I also... Also brought my Yak Tracks. Did not end up using these, but I am, as always, glad to have them. And I just stuff them in the shoes when I'm traveling or transiting. Um, but yeah, they are handy to have just in case I go somewhere that's really muddy. I wasn't so worried about snow, but if I'm in a place that's really muddy, these give me some more traction. I also had my Old Navy flip-flops. These are like dirt cheap, I've had them for a long time. They're just my shower shoes. I also had the Hoka Aura Slides. These are an older version of them, but these are kind of like my 
walk around the hostel shoes. Um, so these are nice. They do take up some extra space. I do usually, when I was transiting, I would put them in the brown bag, the electronics bag. Um, but yes, they are a pain to carry around, but they are a hundred thousand percent something I need. Most people will not, but I'm glad I had them. And finally, kind of going along with footwear, I had some super feet inserts. Actually, I have two pairs, one's in one of my other shoes right now, but uh, these are just the green run version, and I would swap these every few days just to give them some time to recover. So, had those, put them in a plastic baggie, and those are, that's, that's all the footwear I brought. No fancy shoes, nothing like that. Um, which was a little bit more of a problem in Europe than in Australia, but it still was fine. But definitely no heels here or anything fancy like that. Okay, so now we're going to go into some of the clothing I brought. And then I have some clothing I picked up along the way that I'll talk about at the end because I wanted to show some of the things I did end up purchasing. We're going to go really quickly through this and maybe I'll pop some photos of me actually wearing this stuff. But... First are some compression socks, CEP, my favorite brand, uh, planes, after long days of walking, running, etc. I just throw them on, I sleep in them, they're great. Highly recommend. I'm not going to show this in too much detail, but I had uh, 12 pairs of underwear, 6 for the daytime, 6 for night. I also had a normal bra. Uh, I wasn't gonna necessarily bring this but because I went to Oktoberfest um, I ended up bringing it because of the dirndl um, which I'll talk about in a moment but I needed something a little bit more structured for that occasion so uh, I did have one nude regular bra and then I also had a black bralette and a tan bralette so those were that was for that and then I also had two sports bras for running. I guess going along with running. I also had arm warmers, but you can notice I only have one because the other one fell behind a hostel bed and there's no way to get it. So this other one is living in the back of a hostel bed in Rotterdam, Netherlands, and I um, hope it's living its best life. Uh, I also, in terms of athletic running wear, I have two pairs of running shorts. These are from Kiva, K-I-A-V-A, -A, my favorite brand. I have two different types, um, but yeah, those are my running shorts. I also had two long sleeve running tops. Also, I guess this kind of goes along with athletic wear, but I also had another pair of just black spandex shorts. I actually wore this under my dirndl for Oktoberfest. Um, that was pretty much the only time I wore it. Maybe when I did laundry a couple times I wore it, but that was pretty much the only time I ever wore it. Also a pair of just like athletic shorts. These were my pajama shorts to be honest with my pajama top, which was just a regular t-shirt. Oh, I also, I brought six pairs of socks, by the way. I don't think I talked about that, but I have six pairs of socks, and that kind of rounds out, I guess, athletic wear. For my everyday wear, I brought two short sleeve tops, a gray one and a black one. Uh, I could have used one more because the first month of my trip was pretty hot, but then like towards the end of my trip or the second half, it was cold or cooler, and I didn't necessarily need short sleeves. So, it was kind of a tricky time of year to travel because in the beginning of my trip, I needed more warmer weather clothing. And then the end of my trip, I almost needed more cooler weather clothing. So yeah, it was just kind of a weird time to travel. Uh, in addition to the short sleeve tops, I have two bodysuits. I have a green one and a black one. I brought the black one on my trip in Australia. I bought the green one. The green one fits a bit larger than the black one, even though they're the same size, but I also have my trusty smart wool long sleeve top. It's also in a green. Uh, I've had this for like five years. Love it. It's one of my favorites. I might end up buying another one. We'll see. We'll see what Black Friday deals are going on. And then I have this gray 
sweater from Uniqlo. I think I've also had this for five years. Yeah, it's fine. It's, you know, I brought a lot of the same clothing I've worn on previous trips and I feel like for picture purposes, I might have to start bringing other ones, but I also don't want to buy more, but we'll see. But anyway, have that. And then for, I did have another sweater, which I'll show you in a moment because I did buy it when I was there. But, and then in terms of bottoms, I had this pair of jean shorts. Um, I didn't really wear it on the second half of my trip, but the first part, I'm happy I had it. I also had a pair of leggings for the plane and just, I mean, I wore them a few times just like for my everyday wear, but mostly I wore my jeans. I had a pair of black jeans and a pair of blue jeans that I wore pretty much every day. And then in terms of outerwear, I did have a leather pleather jacket I got off Amazon. It's currently actually going to be going to get dry cleaned. Not that it necessarily has to be dry cleaned, but because I'm dropping off something else at the dry cleaners, I'm just gonna dry clean it. Um, I'll pop up a photo of it somewhere, but it's just a black leather pleather jacket. Happy I had it. It was actually warmer than I thought it was going to be. So it was actually a good buy off Amazon. So I recommend it. And then I also have this Columbia rain jacket. And if you know the saga from Australia where I had a blue one, my beloved blue one, that I lost in Noosa because I accidentally left it at a bar, um, this is the replacement for it. Uh, it's the same jacket, just a slightly updated version. Um, they didn't have the blue, so I got this like army green color. And I still love this jacket. Um, and now this green one's going to be accompanying me on all my travel adventures and hopefully I don't leave it in a bar somewhere. So I was very protective over both my jackets this trip. I did not let them leave my side. I never used coat check or anything because I was just so afraid I was going to forget it. So only other things I have here in this laundry basket. Uh, I have two washcloths. This kind of goes along with my toiletries, but I have two washcloths and also a pillowcase. It's kind of a weird thing to bring, but I brought it to Australia, brought it on this trip, and it's really nice just to have a pillowcase that's from home on my pillow when I'm in hostels. So anyway, that's just kind of a weird, weird thing that I bring. And then some other stuff that I brought. I brought this beanie hat. This is from Adidas. I've literally had it probably for about 10 years or longer, but um, yeah, I love it. It's just a knit hat. I also have this scarf. I used the scarf a few times, especially towards the end of the trip. I didn't use it a ton. I probably could have gotten away without having it, but I was glad to have it when it was really cold some days, because I encountered a lot of like uh, wind, rain, and just cooler weather, especially like the last two weeks, so it was nice to have this, but I don't, I think I could have gotten away without it, but that's just me. Also have an eye mask. This is a necessity when I travel so I can sleep on, not only in hostels, but on planes, trains, buses, etc. Very handy to have. Uh, I also have my microfiber towel, which I really don't like this one. I want to invest in a better one, but it does pack down nicely. So that's the only reason why I haven't upgraded, but it is really not a great one. I've had this though for so long, but yeah. So that's for that stuff. Um, I also brought, in terms of like bags, I have this cotton on bag I got in Australia. I actually use this as my shower bag in hostels. So I just like put like my clothing, my towel, my toiletries, etc. in here, hang it on the end of my bed, and then uh, take it to, you know, I would take it to the shower and take a shower with it. Not with it, but you know what I mean. I also had, I should probably take this off. I also had this just reusable grocery bag. I use this in hostels for my food, for fridge or for the pantry. This is from Woolworths, I got it in Australia. Um, something I noticed when I was in Europe is that a lot of people don't put stuff in bags, especially in the, um, fridge they don't put their food in bags they just individually label everything which was very different than Australia because in Australia literally you will look at a hostel 
uh, fridge, everyone would have that Woolies bag. And you would have to like look at the label on the bag. So I don't know, it's just kind of like a little bit of a different thing I noticed um, that, I don't know, it was just, I prefer just putting everything in a bag in the fridge because it's just, it's all there. But anyway, you don't really care. I'm gonna throw that away. In terms of laundry stuff, I had this laundry bag. Also had a plastic laundry bag for like my sweaty clothes. This was like for every other clothes. Um, but the plastic bag finally ended up breaking. I've had it for many years, so I just gotta get a new plastic bag for that. I also had a delicates bag for washing. And new on this trip, I had never done it before. Um, but I actually, I don't have very much left, but I brought a few Tide sink packs, which I use to, uh, wash a couple of clothes in a hostel. And I also brought laundry detergent sheets that definitely helped me save some money on laundry detergent on my trip. I would definitely recommend it and it barely took up any space. So very glad I actually had this and I would recommend both things because they're actually both really helped and I did end up using them. Speaking of using things, I have brought this on every trip for the past five years and never used it until this trip. And this is a sink stopper. It's just a rubber thing. You put it on the sink, like where the drain is, and it holds the water in the sink. I have never used it before on a trip because most sinks actually already have the stopper, but the one where I needed to hand wash some things in the sink didn't. So I used this, finally. So persistence pays off. Keep packing this and you will one day use it. A couple other clothing items I actually forgot to uh, mention before, but it's also some like skirts. I never actually brought skirts to go out in on any other trip, but I did on this trip. I brought this kind of pleather skirt, but I'm gonna be honest, I never wore it. And I didn't really love it. So obviously I would never bring this again. But I found this in Poland, I think at H&M of all places, and it was pretty cheap. And it's just like another black skirt, which I guess technically this would go in with souvenirs I bought. But um, yeah, I'm actually, I, I ended up wearing this and happy I got it. And it was pretty cheap, honestly. Um, so that might come on future trips with me. And then I also had a belt. I got this in Australia, I think at H&M. Um, but yeah, belt for my pants. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna kind of like quickly go through like other miscellaneous things. I have my reusable Tupperware, definitely highly, highly recommend bringing this. Also brought this, the cup again. I would not bring that again. I'm done, done bringing the cup. I also had my reusable silverware and that's always really handy. I brought this travel kit from Delta. I think I got this on one of my Australia flights. I never ended up opening it, but I didn't take up like any space. It just had like earplugs and eye mask. I brought it honestly just in case either I lost any of those things or if someone needed it. I have my running, running sunglasses. Also my running spy belt. So that was handy to hold my phone when I would be running. Also I had my first aid kit with miscellaneous things in here. I will put it on the screen what's in here, but this is very handy to have. I also brought my mouth guard for night because I grind my teeth, or at least we think I do, so I have this. So also with my toiletries, I guess we'll go into toiletries real quick, but this has, this used to carry my bar shampoo, my bar conditioner, it's obviously not in there anymore. This is my toiletries, I'll put on the screen what is in there, but this bag, I've had it for five years, it has gone through the ringer and it finally broke. Like both zippers broke, everything broke. So I'm going to be getting a new one for my next big trip, but it did a good job. It's from Mountaintop, I got it off Amazon and yeah, but it, I had a feeling it was gonna break on this trip because it was kind of on its last legs in Australia. So anyway, but this was my toiletries bag and I'll put, like I said, you've probably already seen it, you could pause it, but that's every, everything that I brought on the trip for toiletries, it held it pretty well. I also have three packing cubes, this one and this one. They're both from Eagle Creek and then this one from probably like Amazon Basics. I'm actually going to get some new, well this one actually not terrible, but I think I'm gonna get new packing cubes on Black Friday or for Christmas or something because 
I've had mine for a very long time, like probably close to a decade, and I think I deserve some new ones. So anyway, so those were the packing cubes that I brought. And then I also brought my vitamins, some COVID test kits. I only need to test for COVID. I only tested for COVID once and I was fine. Otherwise I didn't have to test. And then I also have my N95 mask, N95 mask, um, mainly for the plane, honestly. And I also had my KN95. I know most people don't travel with these anymore. Mainly I just wear these masks on crowded public transit um, and the sort, but makes me feel better. You do what makes you feel comfortable. It's just what makes me feel comfortable. All right, we're, we're getting close to the end here. Uh, I guess this also goes along with the toiletries, but I had contact solution. Uh, I also had my glasses with a contacts case in there. And I had my air tag that always stayed in my bag just so I could locate it, especially if I had to check it in on flights, although I only took two flights there and back. But like on some of those like Flix buses, it was nice just to know that my luggage was with me. I also had this lanyard, which was a new addition to my packing on this trip. This was handy for hostels because I could just clip the key on it and, and I could put the lanyard on and go about my business and not fear that I was losing my key. So definitely recommend that. I had a few other bags that I brought. So my trusty collapsible foldable backpack. This one's seen better days, but I only used it like a couple times. But I was glad I had it when I did use it, but I only used it a couple times on this particular trip. But I used it a lot like when I was in Australia. And then I also had this travel on small, it's like the stadium bag. I used this for Oktoberfest. Pretty much that was the only time I used it because this was the size that they said that you could bring in. I saw some people bring in larger bags, not like super large, but larger than this. But this really is small and I could only get a couple things in it. But uh, yeah, I'm glad I did get it. Um, and I am planning on going back to Oktoberfest, hopefully next year. So this will definitely come back with me, but I do recommend it. And it is uh, slash proof and pickpocket proof and, and all that. So definitely recommend this. And finally, the last bits and bobs that I ended up bringing were my uh, power, you know, the, what is it? Plug converter that I've had for a while. I brought that. Also brought a pack of playing cards. Didn't use them on this trip, but they don't take up very much space, so I'm glad I had them. And you know, I picked up some girl products. And then this lovely thing just has a bunch of various supplies in here, but have like a measuring tape. I did bring a padlock for the hostel lockers and a few TSA locks for my bags. Um, and then like pens and notepads and such that lived in there. And that just lives in my bag normally. And also one more thing I almost forgot. Um, this is also like my little injury kit thing, but I just had like some TheraBands, a stretching strap, KT tape, foot scraper, lacrosse ball. Just, this is just, I know most people won't be bringing this, but this just helps me with my foot. And yeah, so it just goes in this cosmetics bag I got from Clinique many years ago, and it just pops in my bag. So I do bring this, most people will not. But that's pretty much everything I packed. Very quickly, I'm just gonna show you the stuff that I picked up along the way, and then we'll wrap up the video because I know this video is very long, but I do hope it is helping you. All right, like I said, I did pick up some things along the way. I put it in some of the stuff in this cat bag, which I did bring this on my last trip to Australia. My dad got it for me. Um, so I did have that as well on my trip. But first thing I picked up was this gray sweater from H&M. I wore this a lot. I got this when I was in Bruges, I think. But yeah, so you'll see this in the vlogs. But I did pick this up as a little bit of a warmer sweater which I needed. I also picked this up towards the end of my trip. Um, and I'm actually gonna be bringing it on my next trip, but it is this Disney 100 little like pullover. It's kind of like a sweatshirt, but the material is more of like a terry cloth. I don't know how to describe it, but anyway, the lighting has changed. But anyway, I got this. I'm actually gonna bring that on the next trip. And then 
I also have brought or picked up a lot of pairs of tights because I got one weight of tight and it came in a three pack and then I got colder so I grabbed a warmer one and it also came in a three pack so I have six pairs of tights. Yeah, I think I got them at Primark. I also got these at Primark, this couple of like cheap gloves. Um, I got them mainly because for running it was cold and it was just a couple days where it was really cold with um, walking around so I just grabbed those. And then miscellaneous souvenirs. So I have all of these. These carry various postcards except and like tickets and such that I collected along the way. Each bag is for each country. Um, so yeah, I have those. I also got a couple of like stationary things at a store called Flying Tiger. It's kind of like the Target dollar spot or whatever. Uh, in the US, but it's like an entire store with that. So I got this like, let's get organized, like little notebook thing, um, cause we're gonna get organized. <laughs> also, honestly, I thought this would be good for future trips instead of bringing like a planner. I could just put to-do lists on that. Going along with that, it got a little bit messed up, but uh, it's also from the same store, a weekly planner. It just has like Monday through Sunday to-do list. You just, yeah. I don't know, just a nice little organization thing. Um, I got this at Oktoberfest, but I didn't buy it there. I just was handed it from a pedicab driver, but it's like one of those um, cookie necklaces. <laughs> um, apparently Bumbles did a sponsorship because this is from Bumble. But anyway, you don't eat these, apparently. So, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, honestly. It's probably just, just gonna go in the trash. But yeah. From, from Oktoberfest. And then I picked up some books. I, um, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this in the past, but I love to collect the Harry Potter books in other languages, um, specifically the third book because it's my favorite, which is Prisoner of Azkaban. So I picked up the Polish version of Prisoner of Azkaban. Um, this actually has the same cover as my Portuguese version. But yeah, it's in Polish. It got a little bit damaged, I'm noticing now. Um, but it's okay. It'll just be on my bookshelf. And then I also have the Dutch version. Um, I'm going to take the price tag off. <laughs> but I did not, the in intentionally, I did not pick up the German version because I actually want the entire... Uh, series, the entire seven books um, in the German version because those are probably my favorite covers. So I did not pick it up, but I will in the future uh, pick up the entire set. And then the final book I picked up, this is actually the illustrated version because it just came out maybe like last month. Uh, the Mina Lima, Mina Lima version of Prisoner of Azkaban. Uh, I'm very excited for this. I actually went back to the house of Mina Lima. I was there last year, um, but I went back this year to pick this up specifically because it's actually a signed copy. Um, so did I overpay this for this? Absolutely, but I'm so happy to have it for my collection and I can't wait to look at it further because you can see there's definitely a lot of illustrations in there and they're just I've had I had the other two and they're just beautiful so I can't wait to see to see this one and then also just random miscellaneous things I got this mug at technically not at Oktoberfest I got it at a souvenir place outside of the fest I originally wanted to get a shot glass but I honestly forgot to grab one at the actual fest, so I had to settle for a mug because I was no, there's no way I was gonna be able to carry a beer, beer sign all the way back to the US. So we got a mug this year. Next year, maybe we'll grab something else. Just a couple more things. This is another, I actually needed a notepad. This was the first thing I got at uh, Flying Tiger, but it's uh, just a notepad and I got, grabbed this. And then I also picked up, well, I went my last night, the last fun thing I did on my trip. Uh, in London, I went to see Frozen, so I did buy one of the programs there with all the cast bios and such. They also have another one that has more like production photos, but I wanted this specifically. So I did grab this when I was in London. And then I also got this in 
uh, Amsterdam is just some cat ears because it was Halloween. I didn't really wear them, if I'm being honest, but they were like four, four euro, not even, so yeah. I also picked up a few beauty blender sponges from Primark. I also picked up uh, some moisturizer. Uh, I haven't used it, but I bought this because it's actually my favorite moisturizer. It's just from the brand Simple, but it's significantly cheaper over there. I honestly probably should have just gotten another one at Boots, but I forgot. So we'll just deal with this. But yeah, it's a lot cheaper over there than it is here to buy. And then I got this. It, uh, which is actually one of those collapsible, packable duffels. So this actually came in handy on the uh, flight back. So, And then I got this heatless curler thing. It wasn't very good, <laughs> if I'm being honest. But what do you expect for three euros from Primark? And then finally, these. This I'm not going to go through all this, but this is just miscellaneous souvenir stuff like magnets pins for my backpack. I have a couple bars of Belgian chocolate. That's actually for my parents. Um, ornaments, keychains, etc. It's just like miscellaneous things. And then this is miscellaneous candy confectionery. Mostly from the UK if I'm being honest because I ate some of the other stuff like the gummies and such from Germany. But yeah, that's what's in there. And that is everything. So yeah, is it, uh, overall, I would say I packed pretty well. I would say I'm happy with 90% of the things I ha I had, but I still feel like I overpacked, but it's just so difficult when I have those running shoes because it does take up so much space in my, my uh, Osprey to really gauge things. But for my next trip, I definitely want to try to streamline things, but also hopefully I'm not gonna be traveling when the seasons are kind of changing hopefully it'll just be a kind of like more like one consistent season because that really does help with making it a lot easier to pack especially if it's more warmer as much as i love cooler weather and that's what i chase it is so much easier to pack for warmer weather so anyway i hope this video helps you if you're headed to europe and you're on, on a backpacking adventure uh Again, this is just the stuff that I brought that worked for me. What works for you may be different, but I do hope that this is at least a good starting point for you. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe, hit that bell notification to be notified when I post new videos. I will start posting the vlogs from this trip very soon, so stick around for that. Also, you can follow my travel in real time on my social media channels that are here. And I think that's it for now. So thank you so much for watching. As always, remember to wander far and wander often. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.